expect. Welcome to the world of ruin. Hard ass bloody monster encounters everywhere. Uh, it's Final Fantasy VI. It's not that hard. Yeah, well, true. Except I've proven myself to be terrible at this game, so it's. <laughs> I guess it will be. It evens out. Yeah. Yeah. Skate needed a month month off to remember how to play this game. Yeah, I, I keep. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Which which button is A again? Is it the one that starts with A or the one that starts with B? What what's an A button? Like guys, this is like mind breaking. I don't know what an A button is. I only work with triangles and X's, an occasional Squares? circle, knots yeah, and crosses. Yeah, 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 those things. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I learned the other day that's what uh, people in England call tic tac toe, and I'm confused. Yeah, knots and crosses. They call it that down here as well. That's confusing. It's a it's a British English thing. I don't even know. They they call it tic tac toe in Canada, right? Trick. What? Did they call it tic tac toe in Canada? Yeah. Okay. So you're still pure. Me pure? Oh, <laughs> sure. Let's go with that. Yeah, let, let's not. <laughs> this stop. So this town is here this... to foreshadow things for later. They've got. They just tell you about all the different things we'd be doing in the world of ruin. I don't talk to them because that would. I've talked to one of them, but that would ruin the suspense, wouldn't it? Like they talk about the eight dragons and blah 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 blah. They... Well, it's not like the eight dragons really have relevance in this game. Well, this version of the game, anyway. I mean, it's there's just those are dragons. You got to kill them. It's a video game. Well, you don't need to kill them anyway. It's just violence is necessary. Why don't you kill them? Because killing things is fun. Violence. Vi violence solves, solves all problems. Yep. So if I ever learned anything from video games, dragons kill them always. Dragons are never your friend. I don't know. I've played quite a few, except Skyrim. Even then, like, most of them hate you. Yeah, what game- And then there's Parthenax, who's, like, the best bro in the history of bros ever. I mean, I'm trying to think of games in which dragons okay, are so your friends. Okay, so Chrome has done that thing hate me. So... <laughs> okay. Opening Internet Explorer. That's okay, keep going, keep oh. going. Okay, oh, no, you've- you, you, Okay. You, you've- you've- you've been burned, Internet un Explorer. Un unless Internet Explorer <laughs> kills me, I'll be back with you shortly. I, okay. Hopefully it's a number after just, six. Just keep talking and keep just, me sane while I'm, like, opening this defunct browser. If, if worst comes to worst, we have Phoenix Downs. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I thought they only work out in, in battle. Mm, well, we could punch him, then... Okay. Well, Internet Explorer is basically, yeah. like, a final boss. I mean, using Internet game. Explorer is a reason to punch someone in the face. You I need think. Adobe yeah. Flash Player. Yes, I have that. Please, Internet Explorer. Also, no, I don't want you. I don't want you to be the def default browser. No, please not. It, <laughs> it's encroaching on your soul. You can't escape. Okay, minute. What minute are we at? Uh, um, three forty-five. Four minutes. Three forty-seven. Oh, it's nearly four three, minutes. Three forty-eight. Three forty-nine. Three fifty. Three fifty. Three fifty. Three fifty-one. Okay. Yeah, three fifty-three. Fifty-four. Fifty-five. Yeah. Six. Fun. Fun of fantasy wiki teaches counting. Yes. <laughs> A well, one ha ha ha, ha. <laughs> a two ha okay. ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. A comment on the actual game. I actually, when I played as a kid, I actually found this part one of the, one of the most challenging parts of the game, because I had never taught, I had never really taught Celeste magic since I, the Magitech research facility. So when I got to this part in the world of Ruin, she knew like nothing. Oh yeah, that would... She knew cure and ice and that was it. I had to I t try and teach her these spells before I got to the house. This is actually pretty difficult, honestly. It this Because you only have one character and... Yep. These guys are jerks. They they resist magic. Yeah. And they doom you. And they spam... Yeah, and they use Petrify too. Yeah, doom's not very nice. I think I'm wearing doom is... a ribbon though, so... Is that... They once petrified me here, and then I found out when I had saved last, before fighting Ultima One. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was slightly pissed me off. That that would be really, really fun. In the sense <laughs> of Dwarf Fortress fun, as in losing is fun. That's happened to me so many times in different games, when you just, like, realize you hadn't saved. 
for like three yeah. three hours. And it's and it's just this epic failure. It always happens. In the most like cascading the epic failure. It's like when I was playing the Final Fantasy one version of the uh, from the Nintendo on the Wii or whatever for the virtual console. I realized I lost yeah. once and I realized I had never saved the game ever. Because you can just oh. pause and like restore it, and then I just it was Ups. and and that and that ended my quest for the for the NES version of Final Fantasy. <laughs> and how long did you get into it? I think I got up to like Astos or something or farther. I, I <laughs> oh, that, that's that's, that's really amazing without getting a game over for the NES version because I wasn't it like hard, really, really, really hard. I mean, I've played that game a lot, so I mean, I, I've gotten kind of good at it. I stopped fighting them here. Nice. I left them in because, you know, timer, atmosphere, padding, all those things. Yeah. Do you just know that those treasure chests are, like... They're traps, yeah. Oh, okay. It's so did, did, didn't want to seem like I was doubting. Just just making sure, just making sure. There's like, it, it's the magic of doing more than one take of these things and figuring out which one are, which one are traps and which one aren't. We can feign competence. It's also helpful for the people actually yeah, watching this for, like, gameplay, you know? Yeah. Don't, for don't it, for the, People are watching this for gameplay help? For more information, the city could bastards. we got to commend Sabin here for holding up an entire house. Well, he did suplex a train. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was just thinking <laughs> that. <laughs> he suplexed a train. What's a house? Yep. Uh, I mean, I read on TV <laughs> tropes uh, that I think it's one of the band abilities and FF4 the after years. I think it's Sky Grinder or something. It notes that Cecil and Kane team up can team up when fighting the Phantom Train to use Sky Grinder, and basically they replicate Saban's feet. Cecil knocks it into the air, and Kane dives on it to slam it back into the ground. <laughs> Just Not a like... badass, but still impressive. <laughs> the thing is, is they need two people to suplex the train. True. Well, it's not, and it's one of not so much a Kane. suplex as a basic team attack in disguise. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what mystifies me? Why does the Phantom Train keep coming back in other games? Like, like it was in Final Fantasy 1, it was in Final Fantasy After Years, Final Fantasy After Years. Like... It, it, I think it's just iconic of FF6. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess like the it just sums up FF6 box. in general. Everybody dies. <laughs> yep. The suplex tra suplexing the train is iconic. I don't know about the train. The train is the easiest yeah. boss in Final Fantasy VI. Well, every FF has a bloody, like, undead, like, boss, and it's just herp derp, use Phoenix down. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why they keep including them. Like, it's like, I guess it's a serious tradition. I think they it, stopped in Final Fantasy. Maybe they didn't realize that the fans figured that trick out yet. Yeah, I guess they stopped. And was the one in Final Fantasy Thirteen? I don't think there was. No. Well, there's no zombie stars in Final Fantasy Thirteen. Yeah, there are no zombies in that game. There's... There are no enemy target yeah, items that. either. Yeah. Um. There were like five though in like Final Fantasy XII, so I guess that makes up for it. Oh, there was a lot. <laughs> then there was Neho for Law, which pretty much turns everybody into zombies. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't even know. It's like how I've always pronounced it. Neho Polo Po Ha Po Ni. Yeah. Po. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll just call it that <laughs> an item or something, I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't they just call it the thing that turns, the reverse item, I don't know, call it something that wasn't, I guess it was A.O. Scott, or not A.O. Scott, uh, Alexander O. Smith, who keeps yes, in his translation. Yes, that man is a genius, I, that, that man, respect. Yeah. He's either a genius. Does he still do? Does he still do translations? Probably or? not, but I hope he does. He's either a genius or has a wide a access to a thesaurus. <laughs> either that, or he is on a lot of lot and a lot of legal legal substances. <laughs> and I just realized my brain derped out very, very hard. There. Can I mention that Buffalax is my favorite enemy name in this game? <laughs> I approve. Looks awesome as hell as well, like undead bloody ram thingy. The buffalax. Yes. It is a buffalax. The buffalax. Oh ho ho, the buffalax. 
The Buffalax's native like to the lands of Ruin. Ruin. Sounds like something from Alice in Wonderland. The Bandit Snatch, the Jabberwock, and the Buffalax. Oh god, these things, I hate these things so much. I, d I didn't realize that those were actually like little bugs. I thought I was being attacked by small pyramids of Giza like, that were on <laughs> fire, or like, or something. Oh, they're, they're small oh, pyramids. Com Complimentary scape fail yeah. blitz. I, I, I'm just the worst blitzer. Necessary for each video. Remind me to play you Street Fighter sometime. <laughs> yeah. I'm bad at fighting games, and I'm bad at using blitzes. Here I check to see the blitzes, make sure I'm doing them right again. <laughs> 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 also, I have um, Chakra, or whatever it's called in this game, Mantra, I think. Which I never use it, because it's uh. terrible. The real problem with the blitzes especially is because because between the Super NES, PlayStation, and GBA versions, they change the key, the button configurations every time. Yeah. So Isn't like, there you know, one, like, chakra or something that's, like, yeah. just amazing for healing or something? The, the, the one that Skaith yeah. just said that he can't do. That one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it's like, it's like X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, left. I don't even know what it is. Like I, it's like a button combination. I you just saw the footage, man. I, def I, def I can't remember the button combination. It's like I can't clap, clap, clap. It's like I can't remember the suplex. If it isn't one. obvious, I'm slow clapping you in person right now. I can't remember the suplex one. I think it's like X Y down up or up down. I, uh, I I know the ones for Aura Bolt. I know fire. I know fire dance, and I know bum rush. And that's all the ones I ever need to know. Not that I can do them consistently. I never learned wind. Yeah, I, happened. I never learned wind slash because I always learn it after I learn bum rush. Meaning there's no reason for me to ever use wind slash. Right now I'm trying to think of a Starcraft joke to go with Phoenix down, but I can't. Think <laughs> of one. Well, why would you ever use Phoenix? Oh wait, they're good against mutalisks, I guess. Mass muta FTW. He's, he's he's Phoenix. He's good against anything you put him against. Question. See, you were not disappointed, Drake. Terra's here. Yay, Terra! Q sounds of Drake fapping. Oh damn, she has a clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the normal state that Drake's used Terra in. No, it it really isn't. Oh good. <laughs> oh my god. Clearly, I've been linking you guys too much fat on. You yeah, you really well. have. It's like... <laughs> well, I look at fan art and I find lots of awesome fan art. So, my computer has, like, decided to develop, like, immunities to Drake's links because I literally cannot open anything <laughs> that he links to. It'll just say 404 <laughs> error. So, like... <laughs> Drake just has, like, antigens on him that my computer just like, Oh, we're not gonna go there. We're just, we're just not gonna do that. We're just gonna it's keep this safe for work. We're not falling for that. <laughs> that is high. I mean, so yes. So people, because Terra is an optional character, people argue that Terra is not the main character of Final Fantasy VI because you don't actually have to come here and pick her up. But those people are wrong. So. Yeah. Well, I'm one of those people. Those people she was a representative worry, in um, the city, so that's pretty much Square canonically saying like Terra is the main character anyway. Yeah. 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 She's not the main character. The story just revolves around her, and she's on the low cut logo and the cover, and she's in the city. But she's not the main character. No. No. Um, the random Moogle at the start of the game is obviously the main character. Uh, appar obviously. Apparently, um, they thought it was Celeste because they made Terra have blonde hair in Desidia. Lola? Where'd you hit? What was that? Well, in the art, they both have blonde hair. I think they only changed it in the sprites so, like, people could tell them apart or something. I don't know. Maybe it's color limits? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they just wanted to give. Maybe well, they just remembered enough... Rydia and they just remembered Rydia and realized, oh yeah, green hair is awesome. <laughs> That's my yep. story. Name one character with green hair who isn't awesome, really. Oh wait, um... in any fiction. 
There's got to be one. Uh, I'd say Season Zero Seto Kaiba. <laughs> Who? <laughs> exactly. Okay, I've got, I've got what half an hour to think of someone who has green hair, who is not a good good character. I, can, I think I can do that. Um. <laughs> I'll wait. Let us do. Let us do this. Let's make this happen. Okay, I've got half an hour. I'll draw a character with green hair. I'll, I'll name it, I'll name it Mary Sue. <laughs> and, 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 and then and then there, that would be your character. Okay. Apparently, Giant Bomb has a very convenient list of green-haired female video game characters. <laughs> some people have too. What m- side is Some that? people have too much time on their hands. Yeah. There are already too many of them. Yes, I talk to myself and let myself know things I already know.